pull it into you. There you go. So one of the things we're really trying to accomplish here is alignment at the point of impact, right? So here's alignment at the point of impact. If I just hit the reverse button, this would be here, right? Or even back here, depending on how far back we want to take the line. The point here is to get the knuckles on the target in a straight line, right? I'm not going to deviate out, but rather I'm going to follow a line in my body. So if I go like this and my finger's pointed at the bag, if I just follow that, the punch will be where I want it to be. So we're going to have you bring the hand right here for now. It's right on the solar plexus, and you're just going to turn your hip. And as soon as your hand hits, pull it back. We're going to use the hardness of the knuckles instead of this. Now that looked powerful, but look if I do it in the air. You see it? Especially if you have somebody that knows a little something about fighting. That's an overcommitment, right? So sit down in your legs. Sit down in your legs. Twerk your stance. Pull your bag back. And above all, concentrate. You cannot do martial arts correctly if you don't do it from here. Right? You cannot do martial arts correctly if you don't do it from here. thing everyone make sure that you do a stance change just think about this you do a stance change and your punch kind of just comes along for the ride right you put your hand here you just change your dimensions and extend your hand your punch will be correct but if you don't do the stance change you're going to be limited by the strength of your body which is fine if you're a big powerful person but if you're not, you're going to need the correct leverage and accuracy, right? And even if you are a big, powerful person, you want to have the leverage and the accuracy. All right, get set. Here we go. Load, load your legs up. Ready? Seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, good. Okay, you can put the bags against the wall here. Relax for a second. Yeah.